Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and Las Vegas, and New Orleans. This week, the President spoke with clean energy powerhouses in Las Vegas, WNBA superstars at the White House, and the leaders who rebuild New Orleans. That's August 21st to August 27th, or from the telegraph to the it's smartphone. It's an American energy revolution that's like evolving from the telegraph to the smartphone in less than a decade. It's happening fast. On Monday, the president took to the sky in the bright lights of Vegas to talk to a crowd of clean energy enthusiasts. I notice you got a lot of sun around here. America generates 20 times as much solar power as we did in 2008. 20 times. Last year was solar's biggest year ever. Prices fell by 10 percent. Installations climbed by 30 percent. For decades, we've been told that it doesn't make economic sense to switch to renewable energy. Today, that's no longer true. Absolutely. On Tuesday, the president wound his way through the highways and byways of the Nevada desert and boarded Air Force One to return to D.C. On Wednesday, the president met with energy powerhouses of a different sort, the WNBA champion, Phoenix Mercury. Later that afternoon, the president met with television anchors from across the country to discuss the agreement to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. We want to make sure Iran doesn't get a nuclear weapon, and we want to avoid another military conflict in the region. And we've got to get behind a deal that is supported not just by me, but by most nuclear experts and by uh, the overwhelming majority of countries around the world. He also caught up with an anchor from New Orleans to preview his trip to her city the next day. Uh, we've seen this city bounce back. And I want to highlight the outstanding work that has been done, but I want to remind people that there's still work to do. On Thursday, the president commemorated the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, an event that devastated New Orleans and displaced hundreds of thousands of families. The city's rebirth is a testament to what's possible when citizens, government, and corporate leaders in America all work together. Thousands of people saw their homes destroyed, livelihoods wiped out, hopes and dreams shattered. The progress that you have made is remarkable. A city that for almost 300 years has been the gateway to America's soul, where the jazz makes you cry, the funerals make you dance, the bayou makes you believe all kinds of things. A place that has always brought together people of all races and religions and languages, and everybody adds their culture and their flavor into the city's gumbo. You remind our nation that for all of our differences in the end, what matters is we're all in the same boat. We all share a similar destiny. If we remember our responsibility to ourselves, but also our responsibilities and obligations to one another. That wraps up this multi-state edition of your West Wing Week. Be sure to check out next week's edition featuring our union's 49th state, Alaska. And remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of your West Wing Week. Well, on, on behalf of the Phoenix Mercury and the WBA, we want to give you a 2014 WBA championship jersey. Nice. It's an XL. <laughs>